what's going on comic jabroni nation edwin coming at you with a new video and in today's video i'm gonna show you a comic book haul that i got while i was hunting for books in south carolina so to see all this awesomeness that i got you're gonna want to stick around So welcome back guys. Like I said, Edwin, the comic jabroni coming at you guys on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Yesterday was Friday the 21st, something like that. And I decided I had the day off. Let's drive to Columbia, South Carolina, which is about an hour away from here. But last week when I hit up a shop here in town in Augusta, Georgia, I was told, hey, there's some awesome shops in Columbia. It's only about an hour away. You can definitely do some hunting and some digging while you're up there. So I said, shoot, let's go ahead and do it. Let's drive up there in the morning, spend a few hours or pretty much most of the day up there, and then we'll drive back. Hopefully I can pick up some great, great, great comics. So I am about uh, less than 30 minutes away from this place, scratch and spin. Uh, I can't wait to get there. I wanted to record just driving there, man, because I feel some sort of like anxiety. I can't wait. Like, I don't know if you guys feel the same way when you're about to go to a brand new comic shop. And my brand new, I mean brand new to you, right? I've, I've never been to this place. It's not new. It's been there for a long time. But man, I'm about to go through long boxes that I've never gone through before. I'm about to dig through comics that you never know if you're gonna find some type of gold there and I, I hope I do uh, so I am again about 25 minutes away from this place I know that in South Carolina in Columbia South Carolina there's like two or three comic shops so there's this one the scratch and spin there's another one called heroes and dragons um, there might be a second in Charles I might hit up a second in Charles while I'm over here too guys I've got all day it is right now 10 30 in the morning i'm off today i got nothing else to do so let's spend the day in columbia south carolina and let's dig through some comic shops that are brand new to me i'm hoping that these stores will allow me to record some content some b-roll for you guys while i'm in there digging if not, I'm gonna try to, on the on the low key, record some footage from inside these stores. If, have any of you guys that are watching this been to any of these stores? Are you from Columbia, South Carolina? Are you in the area? Let me know uh, if you've ever found any gold here. But here we go, I'm less than 30 minutes out. Next time you see me, I'm either gonna have some comics in my hand or you're gonna see uh, the inside of the store. Hey. So in that beginning video, I was about 30 minutes away and I started getting this anxiety like, oh my God, I'm about to hit up a new shop. Like, I don't know if you guys, and I asked you in that video right there, the little clip, do you guys feel the same way when you're about to hit up a new shop that you've never been to before? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I get those butterflies. Maybe I'm going in thinking, holy crap, I'm about to find a grail. Holy shit, I'm about to get some, some treasures while I'm here for a very cheap price. I get this anxiety, but I was so excited. Man, two different brand new comic shops, right? Scratch and Spin and Heroes and Dragons. Two completely different comic book type of stores. And we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna show you what books I picked up from each one. But here is some video of me walking up to Scratch and Spin and kind of what's going on inside. Watch that and then I'm gonna show you what books I picked up.
scratch and spin is an awesome, 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 like nostalgia, uh, comic book and music and toys and just all sorts of like retro greatness, right? I absolutely loved the inside of this store, but they have a huge comic section. Now, the video that I took is mostly all just the comic section. I didn't really wanna walk into the way back and kinda show you the records and the CDs, the tapes. They had some video games off on one side and I said, well, I'm a, I'm a comic book channel. You guys don't really care about that other stuff, but if you do let me know, I'm going back and I'll record video for the rest of the store. But the comic section was awesome. They have brand new comics. They've got a ton of back issues. They have boxes set up for like their new stuff that they just got traded in. They also have an eBay store. So if you want some of their more higher priced items, you can go on the eBay store, which is weird because they didn't have a back wall, right? Like the wall with all the high keys. It's all on their eBay store, but I absolutely loved it. I spent about three hours in that store digging and I grabbed some greatness, right? We got DC books and mostly Marvel, a lot more Marvel than I thought I was gonna get. How I work when I'm going into a new shop is I look for the first two things, right? Ninja Turtles and then Batman. So Batman Detective, those are really the first two things I dig for. Then after that, I go into the variants that I really love. So I'll go look through right, Batman again and Wonder Woman and Flash and Green Lantern looking for DC Universe logos. And here is Detective Comics issue, or no, this is Batman 510, and it is a DC Universe logo. I'm always on the hunt for these, and this was actually the only one I was able to find. We're gonna keep going with DC. The next one I picked up is DC Comics Presents Annual issue number three. I really like that cover right there. And this is a semi-key, right? I go on the Key Comic Collector app and I look to see, hey, is this key? Is this a key? Is this a key? Is this a, you get a key and you get a key and you get a key. Everybody gets keys. So this right here is uh, Dr. Sivana. If you've seen the Shazam movie, you know that he is the bad guy in that movie. Well, he gets the powers of Shazam in this book. So it's a semi-key. Now we're gonna move into Detective Comics. I am trying to find as many issues in the 400 to 500 range. And I have about 60 or so of that 100. And these two next ones are ones that have slipped through my fingers many a time. And this first one is Detective Comics 472. I left the price tags on there so you can see, but I bought a good stack. So I did get a, a discount there at the end. But I love this issue, this cover, because it always looks like Batman is eating himself, right? Like <laughs> Batman's laying there about to go into the, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I got 472 and the next one I got was Detective Comics uh, 478. Now this is, now this is the first full appearance of the third Clayface Preston Payne, I believe his name is. So this is, this is one that I've been looking and hunting for and it's, it's probably the most expensive book that I bought there, but I've been looking for it forever. And every time I see it, like at, at comic, um, like Comic Con or at the shops back in San Antonio, they always wanted more. So 15 bucks is actually pretty good for that one. Next up from DC, we got DC Superstars Giant presents Strange Sports. Biggest reason I grabbed this, it's a baseball cover with Batman and Superman punching, um, punching Joker and Lex Luthor. So any cover with the Joker on there, I'm all about it. For eight bucks, man, Bronze Age. Greatness. Can't beat it. Let's keep it going. This is the last DC book that I got from Scratch and Spin, and it is Justice League of America, issue 136. Now, I guess it goes without saying, why did I pick this up? Because it's not a key at all, but it's got Batman punching the Joker. Duh. All right, so that's DC. Not too many of them. What was that? Maybe like six books, but we're going to get into the Marvel books. So once I go through looking for DC Universe logo and Batman and Turtles, then I, I start hunting for Marvel books, right? And I'll go first. I'm giving you my secrets, guys. I first go into Marvel Comics Presents, Marvel Premiere, Marvel uh, Marvel Feature, and Marvel Age. You know, those they, they're all right next to each other in the long boxes, so it's really easy to just kind of start flipping through all those Marvel whatever the F, okay? So first up, we got Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine issue 85. Little, little baby key here. This is a uh, first interior artwork by Jay Lee. And it's funny, there's four stories in here and the story that he works on, it's also worked on by Layfield. 
everybody's favorite uh, feet drawer, right? So, uh, and plus, hey, I kind of dig that cover with the blue there. I like that. And then the next one we got, Marvel Comics Presents 89. This is a first interior artwork by Joe Madura, I believe his name is. I'm probably getting that wrong. But hey, for three bucks, can't beat it. Something else that I'm always looking for, right, is that those 80s nostalgic cartoons that I absolutely loved as a kid, right? So Turtles, duh, Thundercats, duh, He-Man, and the Masters of the Universe. So I picked up issue number four of uh, Masters of the Universe, and the biggest reason I picked it up is because it's one of these border covers. I would love, love to get all of these covers that came out. And this came out like 1980. 88 or so I might be off by like a year or two but I think it was that whole month one month in that year that every comic came out with these borders so I absolutely enjoy that I don't know how many of those border covers I have but it's it's quite a few uh, let's keep it going next up we got come on you knew I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't help myself, guys. Conan the Destroyer, issue number one. This is the comic adaptation of the movie with Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm Conan. I destroy things with my big sword. Yep, had to grab that. We're gonna keep it going with Conan. We got King Conan, issue number eight. Now this is a key because it is the first appearance of Krom. So if you ever read Conan, Conan doesn't say God, right? He says Krom. Oh, Krom. Krom this, because Krom is that God for Conan. And Krom is the one that puts Conan in all these shitty situations. And he's like, Krom, I hate you, and all of that. So, anyways, first appearance of Krom, I'm down for that. And I grab King Conan, issue 13. This is the first cover artwork done by Mark Silvestri. So thought that was cool. And for three bucks, can't beat that. Another Conan book I picked up, Conan the King, issue 20. Now, three bucks, what's kind of semi-key about this, Edwin? Well, this is the story of how Conan became king. So down for that all the time. And the last Conan book, I no, not the last Conan book, but the last one that really says Conan from this store is Conan Universe issue number one. A little bit more expensive than I really wanted to pay, but uh, still a book that I wanted in my collection. I love getting these Conan books and I just really, really like that cover right there. And I'm not, this is the official handbook of the Conan universe. So I'm guessing what's inside, I haven't opened it up yet, but I'm guessing what's inside is like, they just tell you about every one of the characters, but you can't beat that, man. Can't beat that. Next up, like I said, so I go through the Marvel Comics Presents, Marvel Premiere, Marvel Spotlight, Marvel Feature, and this is a Marvel feature I found, and it's Red Sonja, issue number seven. This right here is the last Marvel feature with Red Sonja, and it has Conan. Red Sonja, what are you doing? I like that cover, guys. I don't know. What, what do you think? All right, let's go. We got two, two, two more from this shop. First one being Battlestar Galactica issue number three. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know a damn thing about Battlestar Galactica. But. I noticed that this was a Whitman variant, right? You can tell by that diamond up at the top and there is no barcode, no Spider-Man's face on there. And for $2, hey, you can't beat that, man. Bronze Age greatness from the 1970s. I'm all about it. And the last book that I picked up from there. So in this, in the video that I'm about to show you, you, I'm, I'm flipping through this one box and these are all like keys that they just received, right? And it's funny because while I was there, this gentleman came in and he wanted to go through it, but I was sitting on the floor going through boxes underneath. So he didn't really want to, he said, I, I don't want to crowd you, man. You know, I, I was going to go through it after you left, but I got up and I went through the, I went through the box first. <laughs> I'm, I'm
to miss out on something. So that's where I picked up, you know, a, a few of these, but this is the one that I saw and it's, it's toasty, right? And by toasty, I mean, it, it's not near mint, right? It is a lower grade, but it's a number one that I wanted in my collection because I'm a huge fan of this movie series. And that would be Star Wars issue number one. Now it does say reprint, right? And this is the one, this is the thing that got me. It said reprint. Man, for eight bucks, hey, it's beat up, eight dollars. I can do that all day, man. But it doesn't say reprint. I looked these Star Wars number ones up, right? There's obviously the main one, that number one, right? We, we, we all have seen it. Then you have the 35 cent variants, the one that goes for a crazy amount of money and it's super rare, it's an effing unicorn. But then you got this one. Now what, what got me about this is, it really looks like a Whitman variant, right? You got that crazy diamond. You have no barcode down here in the bottom, no Spider-Man's face, whatever. I really think that this is the Whitman variant of Star Wars issue number one. Now there is another one of these, looks exactly the same. But next to Luke Skywalker, it says reprint on it. So let me know, was I able to find a gem for $8? or did I pick up a piece of trash that I probably should go wipe my ass with? I don't know, let me know guys. All right, so after I left Scratch and Spin, I went to a new store and Scratch and Spin was like, hey, you should go check out this other store. It's about five minutes down the road. They have a ton of back issues as well, but they're a little higher priced. He, let, he made sure to let me know that their prices are a little bit higher than what we would normally come to expect. So that other store was called Heroes and Dragons. Now, I would show you video of the inside of the store, but as I was walking up there, the gentleman inside was like, no, nobody owns that store, which I thought was pretty weird. But anyways, I do have video of walking up to the store, so there you go. Now you see what the outside of the store looks like. The inside of the store, this one is your typical comic book store. It's your typical LCS with new comics, with um, back issues, and they've got you know all the really nice graded books out you know in the front, and they got some uh, some toys and stuff like that. It's it's a cool store, but I will tell you that yes, they are way, way, way overpriced on all, all of their books. So I went through and found what I could. What I do like about this story is that they put these little stickers on the front of their bag and boards and they're colored red, blue, and let me see, and green, right? So red is a $2 book, green is a $5, and blue is a $10 book. And if you get 10 books that have stickers, it doesn't matter what color they are, you get 20% off. So I made it a mission to find 10 books. So we're gonna start it off. First one I picked up, King Size Annual, Conan. This is issue number six, red sticker, got it for $2. Not a damn thing key about it other than I love Conan. Next up, we got a rock, a rock, Son of Thunder. Issue number one, Bronze Age greatness, guys. You know I'm absolutely all about this Bronze Age. I don't know if this is the first appearance of a rock. It probably is, and it's probably in some absolutely crazy fucking DC Comics Presents from 1930, whatever. It's insane. Uh, so next up we got Marvel Age. This is issue number 44, like I told you about. I'm always looking for these border, right? These, what was this? The 50th anniversary, 25th, 25th anniversary borders, another red sticker. So two bucks, let's keep it going. I told you I'm always looking for Marvel premieres and Marvel feature, Marvel spotlight. These two, I got Marvel premiere issue number 44. This red sticker, two bucks, first solo story of Jack of Hearts and Marvel premiere issue 45. Uh, this right here, Man Wolf, this has some key something or other. Oh, this is the first appearance of Otherworld. So hey, for $2, I could not beat it. Found a Marvel Spotlight. This is Captain U uh, Marvel Spotlight on Captain Universe. This is the first appearance of the second Captain Universe, issue number nine. Hey, green sticker, five bucks. Eh, it's all good with me. Another 25th anniversary border that I found is G.I. Joe. Issue 53, man, with snake eyes on the front. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a dope. I, I love, 
I love these covers, guys. I love them. So let's keep it going. Keep it going. I only found two DC books here. I got one more. I got one more Marvel book to show you, and then two DC, and that's about it. Marvel Premiere issue 21. This is the first appearance of Misty Knight. Now, it is not in near mint condition. If anything, this is probably, I don't know, a five, five, maybe a six, but this is the first appearance of Misty Knight. And if you guys have seen Daredevil and all those shows on Netflix, you know Misty Knight plays a really big role on those shows. Two DC books I picked up, Batman 657. I'm a huge Damian Wayne fan. And for $5 to get his first cover appearance, second full appearance, I couldn't beat that. And another $5 book I picked up. This is the first Forever People I've ever gotten in my collection. And it is Forever People, issue number two, Jack Kirby Greatness on the cover. It is not issue number one. I looked for it and uh, I saw it there and they wanted some insane number, and then I had to cut off my right arm, which was weird to me because I didn't think Forever People number one was that expensive. But hey, to get number two for $5, and uh, to tell you the truth that it isn't in the worst condition I've ever seen a book. So hey, for five bucks, you can't beat that. So guys, that was hunting in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, there are Two more stores there, I believe, with comics. So I will be going back. Plus, I'm gonna make a trip out to Atlanta here very, very soon. And there's a couple other cities, like Charlotte, which I, I think is like two or three hours away from here. I am gonna go hunting, and we're gonna make this, you know, not a weekly thing. <laughs> I'm not balling like some of you guys are. But hey, we're gonna do this maybe about once a month, where I'm going to go drive out to somewhere brand new, and we're gonna go hunting for some books. And if you guys are in this local area to me, Augusta, Georgia, if, if you're in Atlanta or Columbia or, you know, kind of North Carolina, which is about three hours away from me, if you guys are in this area, hit me up. Let's meet up and let's go comic book hunting. But hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the other videos on my channel, Edwin the Comic Jabroni. It's over 9,000!